there is a plus button where you can add events and now you can also add reminders. And this is something that came about with iOS 18 because we didn't do 19, we went straight to 26. <laughs> These numbers are breaking my brain, but it's okay. Uh, yes, with iOS 18, reminders came to calendar. So you can now see your reminders in your calendar as well as your events, which is great when you're trying to get like an overview of your day and you're there going, that day looks really light. And then you turn on reminders and you go, oh, this is why that day has basically no appointments in it because I have all these things I need to do on that day. And that can be really useful. And when you tap on the time to select a time, there is also a time zone option that appears underneath. So I can then type in, for example, San Francisco, if I can spell San Francisco, and specify that it is at a particular time. And then when that event gets out added to my calendar, then it will just automatically translate to the correct time for me. So it shows the time in my local time zone. 